Well, Patterson, let me come to you first. You don't like this deal. I understand that. You think the deal is flawed, but it's probably the most Brexit deal you're going to get. Any other deal now on offer is going to be less Brexit, more flawed in your mind. Uh, no, uh, every Conservative MP was elected on a platform of interpreting leave to mean leaving the single market, leaving the customs union, and leaving the remit of the European Court of Justice. This draft withdrawal document absolutely does not deliver that. So it is completely unacceptable to the vast majority of the 17.4 million people who voted to leave and expect us to deliver that, because that's what we promised them. Sure, yes. but Michael Gove's saying you don't vote for this now, you won't get Brexit. Uh, I think that's nonsense. What we should do is go back to... President Tusk's offer of the 7th of March, which is a wide-ranging free trade deal which founded on the issue of the Northern Ireland border. And as you know, I've been very much involved with this. We have a clear solution using existing techniques, existing processes under existing European customs law, which sorts out the border. And we should go straight back to that immediately. It's perfectly obvious this withdrawal well, what, what, what evidence is going to go do down on Tuesday. I mean, I asked Barry Garner the same question. What evidence do you have that Brussels is in any way minded to do that? Well, I sent him our ERG paper in September and I went to see him with his that, senior people that in, must have in mid October. And we had a very lengthy meeting and we've been in touch ever since. Right. It was made absolutely clear at that meeting that that offer is still on the table. And it was only pure pig-headedness and stupidity, not looking at existing techniques which could sort out the, the border, which made it become a huge problem. And the only other, you know, as we've seen now, the only other solution on that board is to stay in the customs union, which brought this ghastly document proposal. Okay. Uh, Owen Patterson. Uh, there are so sometimes we get wheels within wheels, and this is too complicated for me to understand. But some people are saying that this grieve amendment, uh, which allows a plan B to be amended to Parliament's will, is helpful to the government. Uh, is it? No, it's a sideshow, I think. The law of the land is that we're going to leave on the 29th of March. All this stuff about referendum is complete nonsense because you wouldn't get it through till next autumn. Okay. We should face up to the fact that this withdrawal agreement is not delivering the promise that we made in our manifesto, and we should go straight back to the EU, say it's gone down, we would like to take up your offer of a free trade arrangement, I think which you would I, deliver on our manifesto I think promises. when you get to Brussels, you may just see a big gone fishing sign. <laughs> uh, when you they get sell the, us uh, 100 billion more than we sell them. And they'll they still carry on. They have a big interest in continuing to trade with us. Northern Ireland backstop will, quote, endure indefinitely until a trade agreement is reached. That will please Owen Patterson and uh, that. So there's a... But you knew that already, didn't you? That it, was, yeah, it's in the document. There's no surprise there. Uh, there. I wonder if there will be more surprises. Yeah, and, and that's one of the real reasons for opposing this, because it's a grotesque breach of the Belfast Agreement, which the, fundamentally had the principle of consent, which was unionists voted for it on the grounds that the status of Northern Ireland would not change unless they had a vote. And you have this ghastly creation called uh, UKNI, which is actually breach of the Acts of Union of 1801, oh. where there should be no difference in status. Very well.